So I want to first talk about the order of CCs. Uh, the order should be realistically your root, your knockdown, and then your in uh, incapacitate slash subdue. And the reason you want to do that is if you do your root and knockdown, most people are going to do their CC break, which means you get your incapa incapacitate completely CC free. Uh, right here, I mess up. For example, you can see I pop my root, pop my knockdown, and then I do my my subdue but all he has to do is just jump to his weapon and he gets his weapon back so even though i like my incapacity was supposed to last like you know four and some odd seconds it only lasted maybe like two seconds max uh the fight was pretty quick because i was pretty much on top of my a game and i i followed through with all my ccs and i don't think he yeah he i kind of baited him in the beginning to pop his cc break uh using a knockdown which allowed me to kind of incapacitate and deal some massive damage. Uh, so that's the thing with the incapa incapacitate is you kind of want to get a feel to, uh, you know, your opponent's CC break. If your opponent has already CC broken on the second uh, incapacitate, because, I mean, most CC breaks are in like a 30 second or so cooldown and your, um, and your big kind of diminishing return for incapacitate is on you know eight seconds and your fixation will reset it so your first incapacitate you should wait till you knock down your second one you should use it in the beginning of the fight uh, and the reason is again they won't have the cc break to go through it and then what you, you're kind of completely maximizing your incapacitate by using incapacitate and a root so they can't even get to their weapon You're gonna see another instance of a really shitty incapacitate. I blew both my cooldowns, I incapacitate him, and all he literally has to do is walk like a few feet and he got his weapon back. So, I mean, it's again, it's supposed to last a couple seconds, but it it just lasted maybe a second. This one, I was kind of salty because uh, one of my uh, groupies were, uh, were healing him, so he actually starts off with high health. Um, so I'm actually playing a little bit handicapped, but you can see the versatility in this uh, one. Where if you know if you do it right, you can pretty much get some uh, you know come back from a losing fight. Now majority of that fight I was kind of losing because again he was being healed, but because I'm staying on top of that target, he you know he's not able to kind of get that distance. Especially engineers, they're kind of you know ranged classes, so you want to make sure you're always on top of them uh, to get you know to kind of keep that pressure on them. In addition to that, you know, 25% of your hits are going to apply that, that snare, so you want to get that snare off as much as you can. So this is the third and final fight. Uh, I don't think I had any big mistakes in this one except for terrible CC breaking, and you'll see it coming up right now where I'm attacking this guy, he CCs me right here, and I'm like almost almost like done with my thing and I, for some reason I, I CC break like literally if I waited like extra half a second I would have just broken it using the keybind um, I have no idea what was going through my mind I think it was kind of like oh crap blah um, another one I mess up too I randomly just pop my CC break I again I have no idea what was going on through my mind where it's like I'm not even CC'd and I'm right here like I'm not even CC'd and I pop the CC break but uh I mean, if this was a fair fight, I think I would have been, uh, I would have paid dearly for those mistakes. Because uh, he would have seen me do that CC break and would have CC'd me. Um, other than that, I think it was a fun fight. Um, hopefully you guys have a better understanding of, you know, a couple of the, the build mechanics. Um, and kind of how to how to combat it, how to play it, etc. Let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, if you like the video, please do subscribe. And uh, till next time. <laughs> yeah. Well, how are you actually supposed to pull it off?